When I think about our ancestors, I think about the ones who left their homes to move to another country. My great-great-grandparents moved away from Germany. My parents moved from Colorado to Tennessee. Why did they move? Did they have the same reasons as us? Are we honoring them by following in their footsteps? Are we creating a better future for our kids? We'll never truly know, but I understand their struggles because I moved my family. This is a little glimpse of why we moved away from the mainland of the USA. America used to be an amazing country, right? The 50s were an amazing time of prosperity. But in my lifetime, this is the America I know. Terrorist attacks. War. Corrupt government. School shootings. Gang-ridden. Poverty-stricken. Record-breaking natural disasters, like hurricanes and tornadoes. Tonight, the terrifying conditions. Overpopulation. Homelessness. I've watched America slowly getting worse and worse and never any better. The land of opportunity for some, yes. Politicians, bankers, lawyers, doctors, entertainers, athletes. But opportunity for what? Money, fame, success? To me, money and success doesn't bring quality of life or happiness. They're just a survival tool. Family, spirituality, love, peace. That's what I want. The greed and fighting are just too much. I simply no longer want any part of it. You can't fight for peace. So I ask myself, what future does this country hold for our children? What life will they have here in Tennessee? When all I ever see is an ever increasing decline into chaos and destruction. What promises can I make to these innocent little children that they won't be used, beaten, but where would we be able to find anywhere that's safe? We had just started the process of learning and researching about where we could possibly go to get away from all of this and what we needed to do to move there. We looked into countries like Norway, Canada, Europe, New Zealand. We started gathering all of our documentation. Look what we just got. We just got our passports. Then COVID hit. Cases in at least 47 states and Washington. Look at how sharply there the number of while the risks to young and healthy Americans remains very low. In the coming weeks, we will all have to make changes and sacrifices. But We're so dependent that if China shut the door on exports to our country, within months, our pharmacy shelves would be going bare. Tonight, doctors in Nevada confirming the first known American to be reinfected with the coronavirus. Additional school districts shutting down today. Now 4.9 million school children across the country at home. In New Rochelle, the National Guard has been activated. Living in the nation's first containment zone. More than 100 cases here in New Rochelle. And in New York City, with 42 new cases today. I think we have to fully understand this is the shape of things to come. From San Jose to Salt Lake to Boston. So-called surge tents popping up. ER rooms preparing for potential patient overflow. This country uh, really changing in unimaginable ways. Very likely for several weeks, if not months to come and states taking extraordinary action in this country. First, California's governor ordering the state's 40 million people to stay home. President Trump said little to mark today's grim milestone. 200,000 Americans killed by coronavirus. is quote, affecting Americans at a rate that represents a nearly worst case scenario. And just when we started to get a handle on the spread of COVID-19, the murder of George Floyd at the hands of police officers. Massive riots started in the streets, further spreading the COVID-19 disease and invoking rage against white Americans and Republicans.
They were not uh, there to promote. Water uh, running off my skin. And, and, and trying to find a way to let you in. And I know the puzzle pieces want to fit together, but they won't. And I'd be the first to be the foil. And just when I think survival is more about living than hiding, we had to jump back into it. This is why we wanted to leave, to avoid this and protect our children. This is exactly what I had been worried about my whole life, happening right before my eyes, and watching it happen very quickly. It felt like the walls were closing in on us. There simply is no more waiting. We have to get out. We have to find somewhere safe. We have to find the peace that America promised. I have to protect my family. This is why we left. Baby, now I need your help to get it back to where it's supposed to be. And I'd be the first to be there for you if you need.